Now we are less than three hours away from the start of Pittsburgh St. Patrick's Day Parade. More than a quarter of a million spectators and over 200 marching bands and floats are expected to fill the snow covered streets. KDKA meteorologist Felicia Woody is on the parade route this morning and Felicia safety is the top priority for the city. It certainly is, and you got to be careful as you are coming out here because if you are setting up early to watch the St. Patrick's Day Parade, well, it is slick on the sidewalks. Some of the roads are still pretty slushy, so do keep this in mind. I've been seeing some people slip and slide. There is a bit of ice in a few locations on the sidewalks, and they are looking pretty slushy, but of course those plows have been hard at work. But this is a fluffy kind of snow. In fact, it's you can see it's not really holding well together. Not good snowball weather. Hopefully maybe we can get that to melt a little bit and then it's like the perfect consistency for making snowballs if you plan on doing a snow day. One of the other things that's going to be in full force here for the St. Patrick's Day Parade, though, is going to be the police. They're trying to keep us safe, so there's a few things that they're going to be on the lookout for. They will be strictly enforcing those open container laws. They're also going to be watching out for underage drinking any kind of public intoxication and whether or not people are going to be drinking and driving. So don't do any of those things. We want to have a safe and happy day, but also dress very warm. I'm in a few layers myself because it is brutal out here. The wind has been kicking from time to time, and that, of course, is making it feel even colder. So all the winter gear that you can think of, you're going to want to wear, and even those snow boots for this afternoon. You're headed down here to the St. Patrick's Day Parade. We'll have another update coming up in about 30 minutes. But for right now, reporting live in downtown Pittsburgh, Felicia Woody, KDK News.